YouTube, what's good? See you later gaming here, bringing you a brand new episode of Top 5. In this video, we're going to be going through the top 5 gaming characters with the name Valentine. Rather than making a list about Christian saints or commercialized holidays, we're going to put a spotlight on the name itself. Valentine is derived from the Latin phrase valens, which means strong and healthy. But the name itself is just as likely to be applied to beautiful characters due to its association with love. That said, no specific personality traits are required in order to be considered for this list. Anyone named Valentine is eligible. To start us off at number 5, Valentine, Skullgirls. Valentine is the last surviving member of a group of black ops ninja nurses that were tasked with stopping the evil Skullgirl. After losing her friends in battle, Valentine began to serve the Skullgirl in the name of self-preservation, but she continued to pursue her own agenda behind the scenes. She has an impossible hourglass figure and her clothes are always at risk of falling off, so the fact that many of her actions go unnoticed is nothing short of remarkable. In battle, Valentine employs an acrobatic style and uses various hospital themed tools. Her weapon of choice is a bone saw that she uses like a katana, but she also makes use of syringes, scalpels, and stethoscopes. Whether she's attacking her enemies with cadavers, or healing her allies with defibrillators, you really have to admire her resourcefulness. Tell me where it hurts. Coming in at number 4, Vincent Valentine, Final Fantasy VII. A brooding loner with a mysterious past, Vincent Valentine is an optional member in Final Fantasy VII who is found sleeping in a coffin like a vampire. Scientific experiments involving an alien life form had stopped his aging process and gave him the ability to transform into various demon-like creatures, but Vincent understandably views his immortality as a curse. Other experiments were also performed on the woman he loved, so Vincent feels tremendous guilt over his inability to protect her and chooses a life of isolation. Vincent is a man of few words who reveals very little about himself, but he was still popular enough to be given his own video game, Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII. The game fleshes out his personality and allows an angst-filled Vincent to atone the dark past that so frequently torments him. Coming in at number 3, Isabella, Ivy Valentine, Soul Calibur series. Ivy is a surprisingly complex woman, and comes across as cold and even Machiavellian at times, but her personality is driven by emotional conflict and a troubled past. Although she was adopted into a noble family and raised in the lap of luxury, her biological father was actually a notorious pirate. In an effort to rid the world of her cursed bloodline, Ivy chose a life of celibacy. This extreme measure didn't stop her from dressing like a sex-crazed dominatrix, however. Ivy is pretty much defined by her revealing outfits and her, let's say, crazy proportions that make even the dead or alive girls feel inadequate. Coming in at number 2 is Jill Valentine from the Resident Evil series. The Resident Evil franchise is full of strong female characters, including the ambitious Claire Redfield and femme fatale Ada Wong, but I'll always have a special place in my heart for Jill Valentine. As a member of Alpha Team and so-called Master of Unlocking, Jill's abilities come in handy as she works her way through a zombie-infested mansion. After battling alongside partner Chris Redfield in the original Resident Evil, Jill returned as the sole protagonist in Resident Evil 3, this time opting to battle zombies while wearing a tube top and a miniskirt. Not even Nemesis could stop her, and he was a bioengineered super soldier with a friggin' rocket launcher. In addition to the Resident Evil games, Jill has also landed roles in Project X Zone, Under the Skin, and the Marvel vs. Capcom series. Before we get to the number one spot, here are some honourable mentions. Lulu Valentine, the Ready to Rumble series. King Valentine, Odin Sphere. Jacko Valentine, Guilty Gear series. Taking out the number one spot is Nick Valentine, Fallout 4. Nick is a synthetic human with the memories and mannerisms of a pre-war police detective. He'd be right at home in a Humphrey Bogart film, if not for the fact that he's a mechanical monstrosity. 
Wastelanders are generally distrustful of synths, but the citizens of Diamond City welcomed him into their community, even though he was clearly made out of gears and sprockets. Nick operates a small agency in the city and works as a private investigator. His hacking skills make him a useful partner, but he'd rank as the best companion in Fallout 4 even if he wasn't helpful. He's quite possibly the most genuine character in the entire Commonwealth, and his backstory is legitimately interesting. Fallout 4 had its share of detractors, but nearly everyone agreed that Nick Valentine was one of Bethesda's best written characters ever. Do you agree with this list? Let me know which Valentine is your favourite in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. Until next time, I'll see you later. Tap the bell icon after subscribing and you'll never miss a video again. And consider checking out my Facebook page as well for daily gaming updates and news. Thanks guys. YouTube what's good, see you later gaming here bringing you a brand new episode of Top 5. In this video we're going to be going through the top 5 games made by Australian developers in preparation for Australia Day.